Lads, I'm after reading here that we came from Africa 1.8 million years ago. I thought Homo sapiens left Africa about 100,000 years ago. Well, the Homo sapiens did leave 100,000 years ago, but a much earlier species of man migrated far, far earlier than that. And what species was that? Homo erectus, my dear friend. And what were they like? Well, Homo erectus is an extinct species of hominin, which originated in Africa approximately 1.89 million years ago. They are the first early humans to have walked completely upright and possessed body proportions comparable to those of modern humans. Homo erectus is an important member of the Homo genus, as they had a widespread geographic and temporal distribution. Homo erectus were between 4 foot 9 inches and 6 feet tall, averaging at 5 foot 4 inches, considerably shorter than that of humans today. They had shorter hands relative to arm length, larger molars and stronger, thicker bones, especially their skulls. This housed a notably larger brain than earlier hominins, ranging in volume between 900 and 1200 cubic centimetres, which is around 60% of the size of the modern human brain. The Illaret footprints in Kenya show that by 1.5 million years ago, Homo erectus had obligate bipedalism, analogous to that of modern humans. These footprints are thought to represent either foraging or hunting tracks. Homo erectus were successful hunters and they hunted a variety of prey. In Levant, Elephants were easy to locate by their repeated use of paths leading to water sources, which made them easy to ambush and trap. Acheulean tools arose alongside the Homo erectus species. This newer, more sophisticated style succeeded the more primitive tools used by earlier hominins. The base of some stone tools recovered in China inferred that these were likely attached to sticks, forming short, spear-like composite tools. The tools often displayed startling symmetry and may be taken to represent some of the earliest forms of human art. Homo erectus' ability to walk upright, coupled with their large bodies and long limbs, meant they could cover more ground with lower energy cost. This enhanced locomotive efficiency may have led to increased rates of survival and mobility, facilitating their dispersal from Africa around 1.8 million years ago. A ceasing of the Sahara pump may have been responsible for the migration of Homo erectus from Africa, causing former lakes and rivers to drive completely turning lush grasslands into savannah. Okay, so they were bipedal, like us. But when they left Africa, where did they go? So, there are three main routes that Homo erectus could have taken. At the time, increased glaciation and associated lower sea levels may have created land bridges between continents, allowing pathways for Homo erectus to migrate. Paleogeographic reconstructions have shown that Homo erectus may have crossed the Straits of Gibraltar into Europe, they may have also walked through the Levant region in northeast Africa into the Middle East. Furthermore, shallow seas and small islands in the Straits of Sicily may have provided additional opportunities for migration. The path through Levant is the most likely as it directly leads to the oldest known Homo erectus site that is found in Georgia. Yeah, let me show you some of the oldest sites. Demonisi, located in the Kivo Kartli region of Georgia, host the oldest hominin site outside of Africa. Five early hominin skulls have been discovered at the site, along with stone tools which date back 1.81 million years. These skulls have been classified as Homo erectus georgicus. The most complete specimen of them all was uncovered in 2005. The individual had a large prognathic face and a comparatively tiny brain to the other skulls found at the site. Another skull shows evidence of complete tooth loss prior to death. This individual was likely elderly and probably survived by consuming softer foods being assisted by other individuals. This seems to demonstrate a sense of community within the Homo erectus. All of the Demonisi skulls are the same age but morphological variation is large and had they been discovered on different archaeological sites they most likely would have been classed as different species. There is another famous Homo erectus site in Southeast Asia. Remains found on the Indonesian islands are considered the most morphologically advanced representatives of Homo erectus. The Java man consists of a skull cap, thigh bone and tooth. Argon dating techniques have placed the hominin fossils at 1.66 million years old. A potential mechanism for Homo erectus dispersal into Indonesia is the idea of seafaring. Seafaring initially is thought to have begun 1 million years ago, allowing Homo erectus to colonise the Indonesian islands and later Australia. Hominin remains found in caves near Peking, China, have helped to advance knowledge on the Homo erectus species. 
the Zucadinian cave system houses very well-preserved skull fossils of Peking Man. This is the oldest site of Homo erectus controlling fire. This site has been dated at 780,000 years old using paleomagnetic and biostratigraphic dating techniques. Homo erectus used fire primarily to keep warm and only much later for cooking. As the inhabitants of these caves endured long and hard winters, fire was an essential part of their migratory success. Among the ashes, stone and bone tools were uncovered in the cave. These artefacts, which included stone hammers and sharpened bones, represent typical forms of actualian tools. Okay, so they walked upright, they used fire for warmth, developed sophisticated tools and made it across the globe. Then what happened to them? Well, that's a good question. Nobody knows for sure what drove the Homo erectus species to extinction. Some studies suggest that they were eventually replaced by more evolved species with larger brain capacities, such as Homo sapiens, and, later, by hominins associated with the Neanderthal evolutionary lineage. So, maybe it was us that replaced them. with the Neanderthal lit. So, maybe it was... <laughs>